I'm making this video because I need the views. There's a popular game called CSGO. There is an online market where people spend real money in exchange for in-game features. For months up until recently, Pro Syndicate and T. Martin were aggressively promoting a gambling website focusing on the CSGO market. People criticized them for pushing gambling on their young and pliable audiences. But they have also been accused of breaking FTC guidelines for not disclosing their interest in the website while promoting it. When advertising a product, you need to be clear it's a sponsorship. The whole thing got worse when we found out they actually own the website. So now they have been accused of breaking gambling laws and are under investigation. If the allegations are true, they could receive serious prison time. This one is a bit weird because he's clearly innocent. Lewis Cole recently went to North Korea, filmed some vlogs, and uploaded them to his travel-based YouTube channel. His videos did show North Korea in a good light, which led some to accuse him of filming propaganda for their government. Some even called for him to be arrested for working with Kim Jong-un. I don't think his videos were propaganda for North Korea, and even if they were, I'm not sure that would be illegal. His channel focuses on health and veganism. You may be unaware of him, but he's a bit notorious in that community. For some reason, he got into an argument with another vegan and went a bit mental. He accused his new enemy of being a child molester and encouraged people to physically attack him. Incitement to battery is a serious crime and police are looking into it. What makes it worse is that he lives in Thailand. Thai prisons are certainly not places you would want to live. His channel focuses on sex education and related issues. He's openly gay and has been accused of faking a hate crime against himself. In June, he was taken to hospital with some broken teeth. He told police that he was victim of an anti-gay hate crime. After investigating, police concluded that he injured himself and lied to them. Falsely reporting a crime is in itself a crime. And he only made the situation worse when he failed to attend court. The man's an idiot. He's the big pharma millionaire who recently became a walking, talking meme. A lot of people don't know about his YouTube channel. He doesn't really make videos for it. He just live streams. He live streams for hours every day. Most of it is him being distracted by other things like work, but he does spend time teaching his viewers about chemistry. What I'm getting to is that this may be the best channel on YouTube. Screlly has been accused of securities fraud. The government think he's been running a Ponzi scheme, where new investors' money is used to pay old investors' returns. If found guilty, he could receive serious prison time, but he has pleaded not guilty. He's a musician who rose to fame by distributing his music on YouTube, reaching over 1 million subscribers. You may remember when several YouTubers were accused of sexual assault a few years ago. Well, he was the biggest example. He was basically accused of rape. This caused him to quit YouTube for a while and his record label dropped him. This caused him to quit YouTube for a while and his record label dropped him. He denied being a rapist, but did admit to having manipulative relationships with women. He's a Belgian gamer specializing in Minecraft. As you'd expect, much of his audience are children and young teens. As I hope you would not expect, he's been accused of having sexual relationships with underage girls. It's hard to know if that's true, but I wouldn't be surprised. On December 21st, 2015, he tweeted a nude photograph of one of his underage fans. It was accompanied by the text, I have fooled all of you and have made plenty of money doing it. So he's an odd man. 
In another tweet, he literally admitted to having sexual experiences with underage girls on Skype. She's YouTube's premier attention whore, or at least she aspires to be. It's hard to know what she actually does. She just says offensive things to music, and the media keep giving her free publicity because they're dumb. She's been accused of domestic abuse, which is a pretty terrible crime. She was accused of such by Santoro during their short-lived relationship. He says the abuse was both emotional and physical. He's a comedian with over 15 million subscribers, which makes him the most well-known on this list. Earlier this year, his former girlfriend accused him of drugging and raping her. She also accused him of physical abuse and possibly of doing it to other women too. He denied the allegations, people went mental, and the whole thing faded away, leaving us with a big question. Is he guilty of rape? Or is she guilty of making false allegations? Either way, it's not good. His career was almost destroyed by one video. A career which began with an appearance on the reality TV show Big Brother. Capitalizing on the attention, he started a YouTube channel, which now has over 2 million subscribers. Two years ago, he uploaded a video in which he literally sexually assaulted people in public. This sparked huge backlash, so he was forced to admit that prank and many of his others were fake, staged with hired actors. He was also accused of sexually assaulting people in real life though. Those allegations were never proven.